the Audi RS6 Avant. That's what we're gonna have a look at in today's video. We're gonna have a look at the design from front, side, rear, and also the interior, and then we're gonna take this beast for a drive. But before we do that, I wanna say a huge thanks to Stefan and the entire team over at Urban Motors for letting me review this car today. Go and check out their full inventory, including at the moment, this Audi RS6 Avant at urbanmotors.com. Some of the spec and tech for the Audi RS6, it comes with 591 horsepower from a twin turbo V8. This wagon is a proper performance machine, launching itself to 60 miles per hour in just 3.1 seconds and onto a top speed of 190 miles per hour. And if you want one of these yourself, the base price for the RS6 Avant comes in at $109,000. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're having a look at something truly special, specifically for United States. This is of course the RS6 Avant. And what we're gonna do in this video, talk about some of the spec and tech of course, then go over the front end design, talk about the side and the rear and what really makes this a very special wagon and also what sets it apart from the normal A6 Avant. So I think we have to start with the front end design. This is such a menacing looking design. I love what Audi is doing with the sequential LEDs and Audi has always been in the forefront when it comes to lighting design. Now you can even play Almost you can you can you can use the headlights as projectors to play movies on screens or walls that are in front of you. And then we have this opening here, which looks like reminds me of the Audi Quattro concept from 2010, which unfortunately did not make it into production. But it also had this opening, and this is actually functional to push more air under the hood and cool the engine. Then you have this big grill. We talk a lot about big grills today and how they can, in some cases, look a little off. However, when it comes to Audi, I think they managed to have a huge grill while still not making it look oversized. And then we have these gorgeous chamfers housing the, uh, the front of the headlights up here. We have these almost triangular intakes, which is by now almost a uh, trademark for the RS models of Audi. And these are, of course, functional. There are no fake vents here. This specific Audi RS6 has the carbon fiber package. That's a $6,000 option and it gives you carbon fiber all around the car and also in the interior. And I'm gonna show you more when we look at the side view and then the rear view as well as the interior. If you were to ask me which is the coolest view for the Audi RS6, it's definitely gonna have to be the side view because it is after all an Avant and it is a wagon. And as you know, I'm coming from Sweden growing up around these wagons i kind of miss them here in the states and this in its supercar wagon form just looks fantastic in a side view we have massive 22 inch wheels these are actually wheels that i would not switch out if i were to get an rs6 myself i wouldn't even play around with the stands because i'm going to show you just how flush the wheel sits within the wheel well it fits super nicely it looks almost like concept car when you look at it down at the bottom here, we have more carbon fiber pieces that is part of this $6,000 carbon fiber package. The side mirrors are also carbon fiber. And we have this gorgeous shoulder line that goes across the entire car, but it kind of has to fade in the fender areas because these fenders here, these are not the stock Audi A6 Avant fenders. These are the RS6 fender, uh, fenders which means that they are a lot wider and looking at it from a three quarter rear view is one of the best looking planted cars, production cars I've seen on the road today. Now this being black, you can hardly tell, but we do have a cut in here. You have another line here that kind of carves out some of the mass of the car, even though I don't think that's necessarily uh, a necessary feature in this car because he sits so low to begin with, but it kind of emphasizes the athleticism of the RS6 Avant, specifically looking at it from a side view. I also like how this slopes down and it doesn't have the Volvo angle, which also looks good in a way, but if you're gonna have an Audi, you wanna have a bit more of an angle, a sporty back in the rear end of the Avant. Now, I don't know about you, but for me, I've said this before, my favorite view of pretty much any car is the three quarter rear view. And that's no different for the RS6 Avant. Just look at the stance of this thing and how the wider fenders just emphasizes the width 
in combination with this almost a trim piece. Thankfully, it's not a light bar. Not every single car needs to have a light bar, but we do have a trim piece here. And since this is black, it's very hard to see, but this also stretches out the car in both angles. And we have the same type of design here, like we have in the front end in the headlights, with these LEDs at the bottom and a clearly T-shaped LED that kind of creates an identity for the rear end of the Audi. Now, one detail that I've loved ever since I was a kid, I think I saw it the first time on the R8 GT, are these big oval tailpipes and they come in black on this specific RS6. I think they look so good and it's also one of these trademarks for Audi to have those bazooka tailpipes not being rounded but have them be huge and elliptical. I think it's such a cool design feature. And here you can see more of this carbon fiber with this massive diffuser that goes all the way up here and cutting into the bumpers on the side. I think it's, it looks super cool in black because the diffuser kind of melts into the rest of the body here. And of course, you have the RS6 logo here on the back. Climbing into the RS6 and instantly I feel like this is a spot where I really want to sit for a very long time. It's super comfortable in here. I love these seats that had this pattern in the middle with the RS6 uh, RS logo at the headrest. And you also have this beautiful red stitching. As a part of the uh, carbon fiber package, the $6,000 package, you get a lot of carbon fiber in here, which I think is worth it considering just how much carbon fiber you get with this $6,000 option outside and inside as well. This is a 10.2 or something like that infotainment screen, 10.1 or 10.2. And I don't think you need anything else than this. This is a perfect size. It does have some glare to it though. I don't think, I'm, I'm not sure if it's a cover on top of the screen itself, but we also have the sun directly at it. So if I cover it up, it looks a lot better. Down here, we have a second display that is an eight and a half inch that controls the key features of the car. For example, the, uh, the, the features that you use all the time, the climate, for example, you have that here. You have heated and ventilated seats, which is super nice to have, very fancy. And then we have this beautiful integration. So you have this tr uh, aluminum trim going around the screen and actually has some styling to it. So I think the interior designers uh, were allowed to have some fun with <laughs> designing this interior. Thankfully, we don't have a big screen on the dash. Instead, the uh, fully digital gauge cluster sits deep inside the dash. There's absolutely zero glare on the, on the gauge cluster. I can see everything really clear. And this is also customizable, of course, to whatever you want to have it. Radio, if you want to have a full-size map, you can have that. It feels like a very useful setup or user interface for the gauge cluster. Up here, we don't have a digital um, rear view mirror, which I think would be beneficial. You still have a pretty decent rear view and the backup, ca backup camera. You have a 360 view, obviously, in this price range, and you have a trajectory where you go in with these lines. Overall, the interior design of this car, I think it's absolutely beautiful. This is, again, what I want to see. You have a clear gauge cluster, you have an infotainment screen that's integrated properly in the dash. It even sits inside of this piece, this chamfer here, that's where the screen sits. I don't mind having a second screen down here, a smaller screen, eight and a half inch for the main controls, the climate and so on. And the vents are just regular old vents. It doesn't have to be anything crazy that you have to open up a manual to see how to use the vents. That's what I love about this interior. It feels kind of old school in the layout, but with modern features and technology. The steering wheel, very thin spokes. And we also have these paddles that are kind of small. I would like to have them stick out a little bit further below these sp side spokes, but they feel very nice to use. And we have this RS logo in the, in the bottom with the same kind of red stitching that we have on the seat. So the steering wheel feels kind of nice. I, can't, I, I think I wanted to have it a little thicker than this. It feels a little thin for an RS6 model. You, I want to separate this from the regular R, uh, A6 Avance, for example, by having this be a little thicker. But overall, it feels good to hold and it's thick at the right places. With this being a uh, sort of a family car, you do want to have plenty of legroom in the back. You kind of do. It's enough for me. I'm 6'1". Headroom is good too because we have dual sunroofs here with this bar in the middle, but the bar doesn't intrude on your headspace because the cutout here for the second sunroof is exactly where you want it, right above your head, creating 
a uh, couple of inches more space for your head. And you also have dual climate control settings down here with two USB ports and a 12 volt cigarette outlet. Pretty cool. All right, guys, let's take the Audi RS6 Avant for a quick drive and see what it's all about. You got a twin turbo V8 up front with 590 horsepower. And I got a nice head-up display as well. I love this gauge cluster, super crisp. I also love Audi's way of integrating the whole, the entire map in there if you want to. Woo! <laughs> you got the Quattro all-wheel drive, just putting that power down. Uh, you can definitely launch this without a lot of wheel spin if you wanted to. It's gonna take it a little easy here, a lot of traffic today, so not go completely crazy. But it's always good to feel the power. You feel the, the, the this is, you know, the, the power that keeps on pulling and it doesn't feel like it's stopping in between the shifts. And I love that. And it's amazing to think that you're actually sitting inside of a, essentially a, a family wagon and you have all this power available to you. It's pretty cool. Let's check the turning radius up here. Let's go into manual for a bit. Use the paddle shifter. So the shifters are uh, stuck to the... Oh, it feels so good. It feels amazing. To have all this power in this package available in the US. Too bad Audi decided, at least for now, they decided to not bring the RS4 here, Avant, but I think they will because this sold out really fast, kind of gave Audi an idea of what's possible. I think people in the US are waking up to wagons and they should definitely bring the RS4 here as well. What a noise coming out of those big oval exhaust pipes in the rear. Turning radius is fantastic. It feels like it has, looking at it, it has a, quite a big wheelbase, long wheelbase, but still turning radius is no problem at all. Maybe I'm just used to the truck. Very nice steering as well. Not too soft and not too heavy. It feels just as good to drive as I expected it to be. And the thing is, I don't understand why people would choose to buy, for example, an Audi Q8 or something like that, that sits higher, has a higher center of gravity, is a lot not as fun to drive as a lower center of gravity Audi RS Avant. And I think that shows that, that when they brought over 2,000 examples to the US and they sold out that fast, that means that there is a market for performance wagons here in the US. So bring over the M3 Touring and bring over the RS4 uh, Avant as well and I bet you that they're gonna sell out just as quick. And that's my review of the gorgeous Audi RS6 Avant. Thanks again to Urban Motors for letting me review this car today. Go check out their full inventory at urbanmotors.com. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.